So there's a problem with one pedal driving? Yep, let's talk about it. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to um, to show you guys something that uh, that I've noticed over the last, oh, however long it's been, several months that I've been doing primarily one pedal driving. So. I love one pedal driving. It is, it's a wonderful aspect of, of EV ownership and use. And um, both um, my Tesla Model 3 and our new Mini Cooper SE both have one pedal driving where they'll come to a stop just using the accelerator and um, not using the brake at all. Not using the brake pedal at all and just only relying on the, uh, the electric regen to slow the car down. Well. One problem that I've encountered with this is that um, you get really good at one pedal driving and uh, after a while you start having um, rust building up on the rotors and uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So you can see here that there's rust on the rotors and it's not just one rotor. I'll show you the other one in a second here. It's uh, it's all four rotors actually, and it is um, it's not just light surface discoloration. It's actually rough on the surface. And um, I've been um, doing some hypermiling testing in that, where I am absolutely doing my best to never have to touch the mechanical brakes. And therein lies the issue that the brakes really don't get used. In fact, if this car sits for more than a, a day or two, which with the virus going around right now, that happens. I occasionally get an emergency service call to go out and do, but uh, basically the car sits the bulk of the time. When I get in and put it in drive and try to accelerate away, I really have to push the accelerator a bit and I hear this bang as the back, the rear uh, pads break loose off, the, off of the rotor because of the rust. So it's it's very uh, it's a very disconcerting uh, disconcerting thing, and um, the uh, so the solution to this is very simple, and that is to occasionally go ahead and use the mechanical brakes. Now, when you let off, the regen's going to kick in and want to grab the brakes more than normal. So one of the things that that I like to do is speed up a bit, throw it into neutral, which is to push up and hold up on that on the shifter and then hit the brake and um, I'll do that three or four times to um, just to, to sort of uh, blow the rust off of the rotors also like today I've got the little snowflake on the screen I don't really need to do that I don't have very much regen I didn't precondition the, the pack before I left so I'll speed up and then get real hard on the on the mechanical brake speed up really hard on the mechanical brake and uh, that will um, that will blow the the dust off or the rust off of the rotor surfaces and hopefully uh, smooth them out a bit so you have to remember that even though these electric cars uh, don't really use their mechanical brakes much they have mechanical brakes and those mechanical brakes were designed uh, back before cars were regening they're really not special. They're just your typical, you know, uh, mild stainless uh, brake rotors. They're uh, carbon steel, but a slight. Uh, they're a, a mild, mild stainless, so they don't rust as readily as just normal bare steel does necessarily. Uh, but they will rust, obviously, as you could see by the images I showed you. So, uh, I think that. Um, had cars been designed as EVs from the from the beginning, we probably would have different material for the brake rotors or whatever to uh, mitigate this as a problem. So I'm going to go ahead, speed up again, get hard on the brakes. So speed up again, get hard on the brakes. And uh, I will, um, when I get back home, I will go ahead and um, and show you the uh, show you the difference just from this 
little bit of driving and getting hard on the brakes three or four times. So you can see uh, just by going and, and um, going out and turning off the regen or even leaving the regen on, but just going ahead and, and uh, getting hard on the brakes just a handful of times, you can see how that makes a, a big difference in the, um, the, the surface finish of the rotors. You want to make sure that your brakes are in good condition because even though the cars have electric regen and that's probably if you're used to EVs that's what you're, what you're going to be using the bulk of the time, uh, they still do have mechanical brakes. Those mechanical brakes need to be cycled through. They need to be used. Anything mechanical needs to be used or else it it just it develops problems. Even bearings need to be uh, need to be moved around to allow the lube to move through all the rollers. And now gas engines are far more critical than that. Uh, if you have a, a gas car, go ahead and start it periodically. We have our convertible for weekend use, and um, that car sits in storage over the winter. But every couple weeks or so, whenever the weather allows, we take uh, it's in a garage under a cover. We open the garage, take the cover off, back it out, and we'll drive it around a, a few miles, <laughs> not with the top down, but we'll drive it around for a few miles, get the fluids moving, um, get the uh, you know get uh, heat cycle the engine and transmission, and uh, then go ahead and park it again. Anyway, just a tip for you guys, go ahead and if, if you do a lot of one pedal driving, look through your wheels at the surface of the rotors. And I'm sure you'll see what I mean as far as that, that surface rust goes. So anyway, thanks for tuning in guys. I really do appreciate you. I appreciate the viewership. This has been an uh, interesting time with the virus as it is. Again, I do get the occasional emergency service call that I have to go out on. So this is why I do have the opportunity to get out and drive and shoot some videos. I've had a few people get upset with me and say, you're driving unnecessarily. And well, no, I actually, in fact, yesterday was Sunday. I, I had two service calls came in yesterday. Uh, I normally don't work Sundays, but I worked yesterday. I figured if they were calling, it was urgent. And I had very little work the rest of the week, so I may as well. So anyway, that's, um, that's kind of the scoop as far as uh, what's going on with me. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I've got a video coming up about wear and tear on this car. I've got over 75,000 miles on it. And uh, so I wanted to report on that. So anyway, thanks again, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I've got a sale running on Model 3 adjustable screen mount kits. So there'll be a link in the description below for that. Just an indefinite sale. I'm not sure when I'll, well, I know I'll end the sale when the, uh, the kits I have in stock sell out. I had a backlog for a long time. We actually have kits in stock. So I've just got a handful of extra kits that are unspoken for, and so once those are gone, the sale is off. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys, and as always, stay charged. Bye-bye <laughs> now.